Hey, oh, that's a load of lumber, that is. Time for a goat herd update. Hey guys, it's been a while since we did a, a herd update. We've got quite a few developments to get you back up to speed. First off, the goats are here, not out there. So thanks to Toon helping me out, we've set up some temporary fencing around here. And there's a couple of reasons why. One, they are now eating stuff that they weren't eating before. Uh, not because they're bored of the other stuff, it's just because of the dry weather. So there's very, very little for them to, to eat out there. So anything that they can get their gums around, uh, they're having it. So we don't want them out in the eucalyptus or near the palms. So we are going to uh, recommence our fencing project very soon. Toon just went and put the order in for 100 posts the other day. Uh, we've got about another three or four days before the order's complete and they drop them off. So then it'll be all guns blazing and setting that out. Over here, so, well, just go back over here. This was full of Olga tin sticks up to about there with the old bamboo flooring in there as well. Um, I chased a snake into there, well, not purposefully, but uh, one had killed our prize rooster, um, Barry, that was in over there. Yeah, unfortunately... Uh, I couldn't get hold of the snake. The snake is now minus its tail, uh, but he got into here, so it, it really got my arse into gear to carry on the shredding. And I've just finished the last lot. 18 bucket loads in total. They've all been spread around the palms, and uh, this is what's left. So it's the old flooring and the bits of the cotton wood that's too big to go to, through the shredder. If you look in here, it's, it's not a particularly robust setup. It was, we, we got it initially for the, uh, for the banana trees to go through here, uh, for the khaki Campbell ducks. But it gets through the smaller gatin, medium sized gatin, but the big stuff, no, it just won't, it won't, it won't get through it. So, you know me, this won't be wasted. This is all gonna be turned into biochar. We could have used the shreddings as biochar, but uh, I just wanted to get the ground covered up. Now, there's a problem here. My cone pit is coneless now. I've got about a foot of, uh, well, I was going to say topsoil, but rocks and dust in there. And it's mainly to do with uh, coffee, scape, and where's Oanessa? No, an Oanessa. Oh, no, that's Oanessa. They all look the same, don't they, goats? All right, yeah, I know it wasn't you, girl. Uh, and they like playing in there. So uh, I've got to dig that out. I've still got about a foot of pretty biochar underneath there. That's like stroke time, is it, girl? Uh, and then I'm going to wait till an evening and start making inroads into this. So this, this is probably going to be about, oh, I would say about eight or nine burns, maybe. All right, Timnus. We'll talk about you in a minute, mate. Borrowed time, you are. Uh, that's got to be sorted out. I, I want to clean it all out, but until we get some rain, uh, if we if I took all that out and spread it around the bamboo or the palms, it would just turn to dust. So we're desperate, still desperate for those rains. Still not a single drop. Uh, Namoi is good. Everyone's good. Uh, where's Donna? Donna was at death's door after giving birth. There she is. Believe it or not, guys, that's a fat Donna, that is. It was ridiculously skinny before. But yeah, we've been uh, medicating her and she's bouncing back. Uh, right, okay, so about Tumnus. Uh, we've got to make a difficult call. Well, it's not a difficult call, we've, we've, we've made it. Uh, he's going to be going. He's going to be our first goat sold. And the main reason is uh, the girls keep coming into heat and he just keeps sniffing us. He's not, uh, he's not rogering them. So uh, a billy that doesn't billy on, if you know what I mean, is 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 no use to to anyone. So he's going to go when the uh, well, I've nicknamed him the child catcher. When the goat man comes to town to uh, collect up all his all his young boys. No, this isn't going well, is it? But you know what I mean. The young billies uh, or bucklings, rather. Uh, we will be flogging him as well. So we won't have lost any money, we'll make a little bit of money, that'll be our first first money in the uh, goat the goat bank, we haven't got a piggy bank. And, where is he? 
brace yourselves, don't give us, don't give us our time, no tears. Uh, escape will be going as well. The reason being, we had quite an experienced goat farmer here and he checked out Tumnus's nads and he was like, look, you, if there's one thing you don't skimp on, is a good billy and he's not a good billy. And you want something as close to a pure breed as you can. He's about 70% boar. Uh, we won't know, well, we don't know about scape. Could be less than that. And although he looks eager, uh, he's not a pure breed. So, it's not all tears, it's not all bad news. Scape and Tumnus, the money that will be raised from those two, will be put towards a pure breed Kalahari Red, not a boar. So it's still a South African goat. We've got a chance of one, and it's too good an opportunity to miss out on. He's a, he's a proven goal scorer, and he's just coming up to a year old. So he's gonna be the one for us, or the one for the ladies. That's the plan. Remember, it is a business. Please don't be shocked. You know, the boys were always gonna be sold. We thought Tumnus would sort himself out, but he's had ample time. Can't be too sentimental. This is our main business, so uh, he will be on his way. And although Yo-Yo looks pregnant, she isn't. She's been throwing herself at Tumnus. It's been quite embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, you're not taking rejection very well, have you, girl? But hey-ho. I mean, let's be honest, guys. She's a beautiful goat. I mean, if you were a billy, you would, wouldn't you? Hey, Sam over there with Nam Oi. She's back to normal size now. Looking strong and healthy. Owenetta, uh, apart from jumping all over my shredder, I was, I was worried that she was going to start eating the cables on there, the wires. So that's why I pushed on today, finishing all my shredding. So I can take that out of here now. I'll take the, the old bamboo down. You see Blackie here as well. So I haven't told her yet that uh, Scape will be going, that's her son. But you can see she's still got a little bit of milk. So has Brownie, but Brownie's still a, an absolute unit. She still looks bloody pregnant, but she's not. They only really let the, the kids probably have milk twice a day. Uh, they just give them a roundhouse and kick them away if they want more than that. Geraldine's looking a lot, lot better now. Geraldine was by far and away the goat that was in the worst condition um, when we got all our goats but she's coming on now and uh, the other concern we have I think she's been overbred or um, I don't know bred far too early I'm not sure but Ruby and Tangmo they're nowhere near as strong as uh, some of the other t the other kids we've got and I'm not sure um, whether they're going to be with us that long. At the moment we haven't got enough females so they're, they're safe as ours is here. We wouldn't send them off to the knacker's yard uh, but if someone came and made us a good offer for them uh, then they would go. We only really want strong healthy goats. If we don't keep an eye on it early on then your herd could end up quite um, quite weak. I'll just sh try and show you what I'm on about. Ruby's not too bad, but you can see, what would you call it, a gait where she, her back legs are walking. They're, it's just not, it's a bag of bones, really. When you're giving shots and that sort of thing, um, you're struggling to find any muscle. So if Tangmo starts to walk, you'll see, it's not, um, it doesn't look right. Am I going to have to shoo you along, missus? Go on, do your catwalk thing for the camera. She's too friendly, she never goes. I mean, she's a beautiful little goat, isn't she? But if you're not strong, girl... Well, she's strong, it's just... Um, I think it could be bad genes. I don't know. We're, we're undecided at the moment, but... Uh, it just looks like a, a bone structure or muscle structure isn't as it should be. Does it go, eh? Hey? Now I'm supposed to follow you with the camera. No sponsor for coffee, so coffee is officially coffee. She, she's growing well. She's not getting fat, but she's still all legs. And she's started springing around now. 
Right, hopefully you'll see her hips. We know you're all right, missus. Strong as an ox. You'll see Nam Oi there. She's almost a month younger than Tang Mo and Ruby, but you wouldn't believe it. So what we've seen with their mother, Geraldine, she, she's not particularly well developed around the back. Her hindquarters are quite gangly. I mean, I know we're not breeding goats for show, but we still want really healthy goats. The guy that's going to hopefully sell us the Kalahari Red, um, we're going to get him to give us his opinion when he comes as well. The guy's been farming goats for quite a few years. Brownie, wait. You got all that corn to eat? You try and eat my bin? Look at that. Hey, hey. I know quite a few are concerned as giving names to all the animals. Uh, and then when it came to same time to sell, it would make it more difficult, but it's, it's not. We love all, each and every one of these goats, but uh, prime concern and focus is on the well-being of a, a good, healthy, sustainable herd. So uh, if we've got to make a, a difficult call, then we will do so. Hey, don't eat me, Texican. Bad goat. <laughs> and once we have the goat house, Built on the island, we've purchased a lot of goats and uh, we've got a supplier from someone who we previously bought goats from and probably going to be another 20-25 girls, hopefully all of the duff, uh, but only really strong ones. At the, at the start, we were really, really struggling to get hold of any goats at all, so that was, you know, if we could talk someone into selling one or two, then we just snap their hand off and you know, and this is what you you end up with. I mean, to be fair, if someone came to us now asking if they could buy goats, we wouldn't be giving them someone like Yo-Yo or, or Blackie. You know, Blackie's lovely condition goat, good mum, good strong healthy kid. And uh, look, it's just sniffing ass again. What is all that about? I despair. I have no idea what his problem is. He's got a good healthy diet. It's not like he shouldn't be able to raise one. He's got no stress. He's more interested on pissing on himself. Right, let's show you BB, because I'm really proud of this girl's progress. She was one of the last lot that we bought. We got two from a, a place that had some really rough looking goats and these were the, she was one of the two of the ones that we actually bought in the end, but she was in a piss poor condition. You see she's quite heavily pregnant now. But she looks lovely now. Before, Jesus, it was quite quite a sorry state. I'm not sure if her horns are actually growing back. They cut them off. And uh, yeah, she does like a tussle now that her leg's better. But, uh, she looks really, really good. And uh, she eats more than just about everyone else apart from Brownie, I think. There you go, eh? Yeah, I called her BB, short for bunny boiler. It's just the way she looks. She's got a goatee, chopped off horns, uh, and she likes to fight with everyone. So, uh, yeah, BB it is. But uh, 
Her hair's looking lovely and shiny and smooth now. When you get a really poor conditioned goat, quite often it's a like a parasite just under the skin or on the skin. Right. Geraldine's you see her hair's quite quite rough looking. Yeah. But you've had all your shots so it'll take a little while for her to get get into a better condition. But we have the same issue with Blackjack as well. She's a lovely looking goat. She's the only one with no horns. Oi, settle down. PJ's looking buff as always, isn't you girl? You're lovely, ain't you? Hey, lovely girl. We'll never sell you. I'd rather eat you than sell you. Hey? Jessie's fairly heavy now. She's, uh, I reckon she's got about another month to go. But apart from that, so we've got Jessie, BB, and where's Slim? Slim's up there. She's 50-50 whether she's pregnant. I think she is, but they didn't guarantee when we when we uh, purchased her. They said that she, they'd seen her uh, sorted out, but um, you can't always say that it's it was a home run so wait and see but I think she is she's starting to fill out a little bit it's difficult to tell when you first get them because if they're a bit underweight you don't know whether it's just them getting back to where they should be or um, whether they are putting on weight because they're pregnant but yeah that's it definitely two pregnant maybe a third after that we might as well have a herd of nuns last chance saloon mate time to get in and get some uh, Get some electrolytes. Bonkers weather. Really bonkers. 